here we have a Toro Recycler 22 inch lawnmower with a 7 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine that will not start. Um, actually it will start but then it immediately dies and that's all we can get it to do. Um, so I know we're dealing with a fuel problem, a plugged up carburetor. So I zeroed right in on that. I took off the float bowl. It's a half inch um, nut on the bottom of the float bowl. That's actually the main jet there. And uh, that's actually what gets plugged up and prevents your lawnmower from running. You can see the gas gets shot, so we're going to have to replace it. But sure enough, the main jet was plugged up, so we know that that's the problem. So this is a plugged carburetor main jet. You can see the corrosion plugging up that hole, and there's corrosion plugging up that hole. I'm going to go ahead and soak it in some coke um, for, oh, I don't know, maybe a half an hour, and we'll see how she looks after that. Might as well soak the float bowl too. I let this soak for 24 hours. The ants are all over it, as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and take it out, see what it looks like. It's like a treasure hunt. There it is. Now I can tell it's already a lot cleaner. Get a little brush and brush it off here. Just going to use a toothbrush. Make sure to get down in that top hole. I may have to poke something else down there. But yeah, look at much cleaner. I think that's going to work just fine. Poke a piece of wire down through there. I think coke worked pretty darn good in this case. Let's get things back together. So the gasket for this carburetor actually comes in two different thicknesses here. So just make sure you get the appropriate thickness gasket when you replace it. Otherwise you'll be uh, going round and round trying to stop that float bowl from leaking. So it turns out mine's the thick one here, so we're going to go with that. And you can see where the float bowl gasket goes. A lot of times there'll be corrosion there, uh, white powdery stuff along the rim. Um, you want to get off as much of that as possible. Uh, I used a toothbrush. I'm, still there's a little bit left on there, but that's going to be okay, I think. Um, so time to put the gasket on. I always start from one side and then just try to work it around. And that wasn't too bad. I think we're on. Just make sure you don't get that thing on there off center, otherwise you'll have problems. So I have the float bowl here and the main jet float bowl bolt. Both are spotless. You want to make sure you don't lose this little gasket that on the main jet. Just be careful when you're putting this bowl back on that you don't knock off any crud into it. Crud. It's an official term around this shop. Not too snug back on doesn't have to be real tight, but definitely snug. Yeah, that should be good. I'm pretty confident this is going to start right up because that main jet was definitely plugged. Oops. The rest of the carburetor was clean. I always do that. Dang it. <laughs> 